Good morning to one and all. Today we are going to see about the backward and forward steep uh, sweep method. And it is a simple algorithm with a continuation to your uh, Gauss Eder Newton Raphson and Fast decouple method. This is also one of the algorithm to solve the load flow studies. Back and forward uh, sweep method for load flow is an iterative technique in which at each two computational stages are performed. It is uh, similar to the that uh, GS, NR and uh, fast decoupled method. So this is also one of the iterative technique. With the aid of two sets of recursive equation, the load flow of a single source network can be solved iteratively. So with the two sets of equation, we are going to solve this equation. The first set of calculation for the power flow through the branches starting from the last branch and proceeding in the backward direction towards the root. So what we are doing is the first we are starting from the um, last branch, last branch and proceeding in the backward direction. So that's why this algorithm is called backward sweep method. The second set of equation used for calculation of voltage magnitude and phase angle of uh, each node starting from the root node and proceeding in the forward direction. This is uh, the second set of equation. This is normal. This is normal as like your uh, Newton Raphson God's method. We are starting from the as usual from the uh, we are starting from the uh, like uh, each node, uh, each node starting from the root node. Uh, like one, two, three, like that. Uh, whereas the first step uh, in that, what we are doing is we are going from the last branch and proceeding uh, towards the root node. So uh, that's why this method is called the backward uh, sweep method. In ba backward sweep method, branch current is updated by each section by taking into the consideration the previous I iteration voltages at the each node. Uh, as usual, it is updated in the each section by taking consideration the previous iteration voltage at the each node. Same like uh, your uh, GS method. It start from the branches in the last node and move towards the branches connected to the root node. The updated effective power flow in each branch is obtained in the backward propagation computation by considering the node voltage of the previous iteration. It means that voltage values obtained in the forward path and held constant during the backward propagation and updated the power flows in each branch are transmitted backward along the feeder using the backward path. This indicates that Backward propagation start at the extreme end node and proceed towards the source. So this is the one of the major thing uh, as usual, like uh, in the, in the uh, voltage values are obtained in the forward path and held constant during the backward propagation and updated power flows in each branch are transmitted backward along the feeder using the backward path. This indicates that backward propagation start at exceed end node and proceed towards the source. node. It is well known that there exist the three variants of backward um, forward speed method that differs from each other based on the type of the electrical quantities at each iteration, beginning from the terminal nodes and going up towards the source node. That is the backward sweep or evaluator. So in that, uh, what they said is three main variants of backward sweep method differ from the other based on the type of the electrical quantities. So that each iteration beginning from the terminal nodes and going up to the source node, that is a evaluator. Next step, coming to the swap forward sweep method. Forward sweep method, the main aim of the forward sweep method is to calculate the voltage drop with the possible current or power flow updates. During the 
forward sweep, nodal voltages are updated starting from the branches in the first node towards uh, those in the last. Nodal voltage are updated from the first node towards the uh, those in the last. That is the same as usual method. The feeder substation voltage is set as its actual value. During the forward propagation, effective power in each branch is held constant to the value obtained in the backward sweep method. That first is current summation method in which branch currents are evaluated. Power summation method in which power flows of each branch are evaluated. The admission summation method in which node by node that is driving for point admittance are within each iteration within the constant current and uh, constant power and the constant admittance model. In the forward phase, three variants are identical since the base on since based on the quantities evaluated in the backward phase. The uh, bus voltages are calculated starting from the source node and moving towards the last node. Coming to the admittance summation method, that is node by node, driving point admittance are within the each iteration with the constant current and as well as the constant power and the constant admittance model. In forward phase, three variants are identical. These three variants, that is uh, this current uh, and uh, constant power and admittance value, uh, model are identical. Since based on the quantities evaluated in the Backward phase, the vo bus voltages are calculated starting from the source node and moving towards the last node. The voltage are then used to update based on the reliance of load loads on the voltages. The quantities used in the backward sweep in order to proceed the iteration. The process ceases when convergence criteria is verified. So in this also, the voltages are then updated based on the reliance of the load of the uh, vo loads of the voltages. The quantities are mentioned in the backward sweep in order to proceed to the iteration. Successive iteration is obtained by comparing calculated voltage in the previous and present iteration. Um, like uh, based on the iterations. So what we need to do is uh, first iteration we need to we will get the one voltage. Um, and second iteration we'll do, we get to one voltage. Third iteration. So we need to uh, compare which is the successive one. So whichever is the, in that iteration, it is not changing that much. So that uh, with that, you can stop the uh, iteration and you can uh, print the results. Like uh, you can uh, finalize the results there. The convergence can be obtained, uh, sorry, can be achieved if the voltage mismatch is less than the specified tolerance value that is 0 0.01. So tolerance value is taken as 0 0.01. So if not, if you run this program, uh, like the program will run for n times, it will not uh, stop at any point. Otherwise, new effective power flows in each branches are evaluated to the backward sweep with the present evaluated voltage and then uh, procedure is repeated until the solution is converged. So if not, again, we need to uh, go for um, effective power flows, uh, like effective power flows in each branches uh, uh, are to be evaluated to the backward sweep with the present evaluated voltage with the same voltage in the, the previous iteration. We need to again calculate for effective power flows in the each branch uh, until the solution is converged. Coming to the algorithm for backward and forward sweep method, the major steps for the proposed solution with the appropriate equations are summarized below. Step one, pursue rated voltage at each node only for first iteration and equals the value computed in the forward sweep in the consecutive iteration. Step number two, begin with each end node begin with the end node that is for backward uh, sweep method begin with the end node and compute the node current using the equation number one that is ia is equal to si divided by e where si is nothing but 
t plus j into q. That is nothing but uh, this is the apparent power. Apparent power is equal to real plus reactive power. Si is nothing but real plus reactive power. The whole bracket to the star. The star means, you know, minus of. You need to take the conjugate. That is minus of you need to take. Applying the case here to determine the current flow from the from uh, node i towards the node i plus one using the equation number two. Begin from the end node. So in the backward um, sweep algorithm, we need to start the procedure from the end node. So now you need to calculate the current by using the KCL, Kirchhoff's current law, um, by using the equation two. That is nothing but I of I comma I plus one is equal to I of I plus one plus summation current in branches emitting from the node I comma I plus one. Okay, so we need to um, start from node I and towards the node I plus one using the this equation. Begin from the end node. We need to start from the backward side. That is, we need to start from the end node. Next step number three. Evaluate with, uh, with this value of current the voltage at the ith node by using the equation number three. That is, V i is equal to V of i plus one plus i of i comma i plus one star z of i comma i plus one. So this is how we need to uh, calculate the uh, value of current. Sorry, value uh, value of uh, current voltage, value of the particular voltage at the ith node. That you need to calculate like V of uh, V uh, uh, V i is equal to V of i plus one plus i of i comma i plus one star z of i comma i plus one. So that is uh, how we need to calculate the current voltage. That is present voltage. Proceed with the, this step till the junction uh, node is reached. At junction node, the com voltage um, vol uh, computed voltage is this. Okay, we need to proceed this step till the junction node is reached. So whatever the junction, um, how many junctions are there, that up to that. At junction node, the computed voltage is this. Next, step number four. Now, Begin with the another end node of the system and evaluate the voltage and current as in the step two and three. So you need to start another in up to another uh, last end node. Okay, as uh, we said in the previous step. Next step number five. Using equation one, evaluate current with the help of most recent voltage at the junction node. So we need to evaluate the current. That is current I, I is equal to SI divided by VI, the whole star. So we need to uh, use this equation one to evaluate the current with the help of most recent voltage at the junction node. Step number six. Furthermore, continue till the reference node. Up to the reference node, you need to continue. Step number seven. Contrast the evaluated magnitude of the rated voltage at the reference node with a specified source voltage. Stop if the voltage difference is less than the specified criteria elsewhere forward uh, sweep starts. OK, so if uh, the. Voltage difference is less than the specified criteria, you need to stop. Otherwise, you need to stop uh, start with the forward sweep. Next step, forward sweep. In the forward sweep, step number one, begin with the reference node at the rated voltage. We need to start with the reference node at the rated voltage. Whereas in the backward sweep mode, what we need to do, we need to st st start with the last node. And we need to further, um, uh, like, uh, um, we need to come with the backward side. We need to start with the back backward node. And uh, um, uh, next, next node, we need to st stop with the that first node. Whereas in the forward sweep method, we need to begin with the reference node at the rated voltage. Next is step number two, using this equation, that is V of I comma plus uh, I of I, uh, V of I plus one is equal to 
B I minus I of I minus I comma I plus one star Z of I comma I plus one. Ever with the node voltage in forward direction from reference node to the in node. So here the equation becomes B of I plus one is equal to B of I minus I of I comma I plus one star Z of I comma I plus one. Whereas the similar equation in the backward sweep algorithm. So what is this uh, similar equation in the backward sweep algorithm is B of B I is equal to B of I plus one plus I of I comma I plus one star Z of I comma I plus one. So whereas here it is minus and also here it is I B of I plus one. Here it is B. Okay, so here it is B of I plus one. So that is just um, opposite. That is that we are continuing from the last node. Here we are continuing from the first reference node. Now again start with the backward sweep with the updated bus voltage evaluated in from in the steep forward uh, evaluated in forward sweep. So now again we need to start with the backward sweep with the updated voltage. The same thing you need to proceed. Again, you need to start with the start with the step number two, and we need to start with this again step number seven. So now again start with the backward sweep with the updated voltage evaluated in the sweep uh, forward. So with the updated voltage evaluated in the sweep forward, again you need to start the backward sweep as uh, you need to start with the step number two from the backward uh, sweep algorithm. So this comes the flow chart for the backward and the forward sweep method. First, we need to st start, read the line data and the load data, set the flat start, that is flat voltage, that is one per unit for all the nodes, compute the compute effective real and reactive power flows of all the branches using backward propagation algorithm, update node voltage and phase angles using the forward propagation, update the node voltage and phase angles using the forward propagation. Is the load voltage converged, then you need to compute the branch power loss, total system loss, and you finally you need to print the result and you need to stop. If not, if the load flow is not converged, you need to go to uh, this step and you need to again uh, start with that uh, voltage. Uh, and again, you need to compute all the real and reactive powers of all the branches using PAP propagation. And again, update the old, uh, update update node voltage and phase angles using the forward propagation. And again, you need to proceed this step. So this is the flowchart for backward and forward sweep method. Sometimes in two mark question, they may ask this uh, uh, draw the flowchart of the backward and forward sweep method or uh, this combined together algorithm they may ask in the five mark question because it seems to be very simple. So they five mark question. So algorithm for backward and forward sweep method. So if you need to write this algorithm as well as with this flow chart, then you will get the full uh, five marks or eight marks. Sometimes eight mark question they may ask. 